be remiss of me to go through what everyone else has done, to go through the book and select passages and tell you about the book and bore you with uh, pieces about it. But I will say one thing about this book. It seems to be <coughs> a fictionalization of the life and career of the right honorable Sir Lloyd Sandiford. We, there's a part of the book, remember the Prime Minister is there, hale and hearty, and then all of a sudden the Prime Minister dies, and he is no longer second in command uh, by default, but he's projected into the, uh, catapulted into the situation as the new Prime Minister. And um, as such, therefore, this book is one of the first ones to be looking at what I call the new Barbadian black middle class. There's a lot in the book about persons who have come up from the working classes, and their story has been told in books like, of course, the, the giant of Barbadian uh, books, Castles of My Skin, um, in which the principal character, one of the principal characters, supposedly Mr. Slime, is supposedly Grant the Adam, <coughs> and uh, Ma and Pa represent the uh, working classes of that era. So the Lamings um, accomplishment, and that followed on by Austin Clark and others, has been to bring the Barbadian working class to life in literature. And that is amazing, an amazing um, for an accomplishment, especially in an island in which there was, first of all, no encouragement to write about our society, unless you were white and leisure. And secondly, to write about that disestablished that and this empowered grouping the working class. Austin Clark followed Laming, dealing with survivors of the crossing and thistles among thistles and thorns. And we learned about uh, the cockroaches and the toilet pits, which were the companions of that uh, lifestyle, the work that of the working classes. And those persons brought us to the time of independence. And since the independence we have had a dearth of writers either about our working classes or about the new middle classes. Let me advise who, who has written. Jeffrey Drayton has written, A.N. Ford, Timmy Callender has written short stories. And then in the 1990s and 2000s, some people have started to write. But between the 1960s and the 1990s, there has been a dearth of literary gems short stories, novels, etc. Apart, of course, from the, uh, the person who is likely to win a Nobel Peace uh, Prize for Literature before we die, you know, the Honorable, the excellent George Lamming. He, of course, is on a cloud above the ordinary Barbadian writer. So his publications are not involved, are included in my analysis. But for 30 years, we went through a period when no one seemed to be writing about the Barbadian evolution, the evolution of that middle class, which uh, Errol Barrow and Grant the Adams are supposed to have been instrumental in either producing or facilitating or encouraging. Yes, there was a lot of poetry. There was Frank Collimo's work. There was the work of E.N. Ford. Uh, Janet Lane Clark has done some satirical bits, etc. But a lot of the evolution of those persons who went to Harrison College, Common Mayor Queen's College, Law School, the Modern, their story has not been told. And in the last decade, we've had uh, John Manning. John Manning, who passed away this year, unfortunately, he's written two books The Inner Circle, and I forget the other one. Uh, I don't know if anyone can remind me. Of it. I saw those two books today, and I wrote them like that, my notes home. John Manning has written two books, and one of them is about intrigue within the public service, involving persons who have returned from overseas to give service to this country. Then we